I said I gotta keep it kosher In a room full of vultures And to them eggs blow the chauffeurs I'm a L.O.Z. soldier, L.O.Z. soldier I gotta keep it kosher This real life mentality We ain't war with flesh and blood We war with principalities These pastors be manipulating scriptures They some Pharisees are infidel It's worse than these cracks If you ask me, gotta keep it kosher This real life mentality We ain't war with flesh and blood We war with principality These pastors be manipulating scriptures They some Pharisees are infidel It's worse than these cracks If you ask me Kill cornbread, man, he could've been an athlete Let's see something real quick. All right. What's going on? What's going on? My name is Banaka. Nice to meet you. Sun Sun. Let me ask you. What's your? Let me ask you too. Oh, you're good. You're what's your nationality? Yeah, Jamaica, my friend. You call yourself Jamaica. I'm from Jamaica. I'm born in Jamaica. My parents are Jamaican. My All grandma, right. my grandma, my grandma, my mommy, my papi, my daddy, uh -huh. my daddy, and this is they all Jamaican. Good. I'm, I'm good. not from Africa. Oh no, you about to learn something today. You about to All right. God won't hear that shit. Uh-uh. That's why you drop you drop your thing. Alright? Because the most I gonna teach you something now. Alright? So here's something. If you're Jamaican, you know even the Rastafari 12 tribes know this. Alright? You are the children of Israel. But which child? Alright? Look on this. Where you see yourself? Where you see yourself? Look all the way to the bottom. Jamaica and the West Indies. What do you see at Boston? Benjamin. Benjamin. Oh, all right. Hey, the Raven Wolf. Yeah, yeah. All right. That describes how we like to get ours. You know, how we like to do things. All right. So let me get to Romans 10, 10 verse 12. All right. So let me show you. That means oh, your, your, your father is a Jamaican. All right. Most likely you are a Benjamite. All right. One of the tribes of Israel, the beloved of the Most High God. All right. So now as a beloved, a child of God, a real bloodline child, all right, you have a requirement. Let me get that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. Bring it out! And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require of thee? What's the name again? And now, Shantel. All right, don't be so bashful, all right? Now you're learning your history. Oh, you all right. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require of thee? Now, Chantel, what does God want from you? What does God want you to do? What do you think? Everything. Everything. Being close to him. Okay, being close to him. What does it, what do you think it takes to be close to your father? What does it take for you to be close with your father right now? Your father on earth. Your dad on earth. You have to spend time with him, right? Yes. Right, a bond. All right, so you have to care about what he cares about. All right, you got to be on one page. So what do you think that is? If you're supposed to be on one page with your own dad, that means you're supposed to obey him. Learn what he likes. All right? That's showing love. Yeah, that's true, right? Exactly. So let's get love in the scripture. The scripture says the same thing about love. Okay. All right? Let's get love. First John. First John. It says it twice. Let me show you. All right? Because now you know how to love the most high God. Because saying that you love God, what are you looking for, your friend? No, what religion? Oh, it's not a religion. We don't oh. do religion. This is actually where we came from. Oh, yeah, this is literally where we came from. The fringes, everything is where we came from. Oh, no. no religion. It's funny because somebody told me to do that. The blue thing about That's right. Oh, it's, it used to be our dress code. Because the Most High God gave us that. I, I met a girl in the hair salon. She told me to do that. That's right. The blue thing is like Yes, that she's right. Let me get numbers. Let me get numbers real quick. I'm going to show you where that's from. Because actually, a lot of our people used to do that because it shows us, it reminds us of the commandments. Yeah, she said more signs. Exactly. Exactly. All right? It's supposed to. The word's supposed to come back to you. That's you remembering your heritage. It's good that you're excited. All right? 
Do you want me 22 and 12? You want to get that real quick? Okay. Do you want me 22 and 12? And then we'll get the numbers after that. Deuteronomy 22 and 12. Oh, yeah, we got some. We got some for you. Okay, okay. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We got to get your, um, can you get a contact so we can give us some fringes? All right, no problem. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 12. Bring it out! Thou shalt make thee fringes. Thou shalt make thou what? Thou shalt make thee fringes upon the four corners of thy vesture. That's exactly what you're talking about. Right. So the four corners of your vesture, all right? All right, so we're going to talk to you right now. Let me get numbers at the, at the uh, 1537, all right? So let me show you where that's, let me show you where that came from, all right? So let's get the details, why the Most High said to do it. It's a dress code, it's a check and balance with your member, just like how the Most High gave us the rainbow. Let me Oh no 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 no! That's that's cat that's that's Catholic. Right. You know what I mean? That has nothing to do with the most side. All right. Yeah, hold on, hold on. That's my head. All right. That's my head. Come on, come on. The crystal. Oh, I used to believe the crystals because a lot of people like, oh, you know, this and that. Yeah. Mm. So let me show you something. Read that. This is the book of Numbers, chapter fifteen, verse thirty-seven. Bring it out. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto you. Alright. And bind them and that they make them fringes. And bid them. And bid them that they make them fringes. To make, you, to make fringes where? In the borders of their garments. Right here through, the ends of the garment. Throughout their generations. Mm -hmm. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue a ribbon of blue nobody else does that all right that shows you it's a dress code of the children of god all right same color as ever all right so the most high gave us that to look at it keep going so the reason why and it shall be unto you for a friend that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. And remember all the suggestions. And, and that ye remember all, all the, the commandments, commandments of, of the Lord. Lord. All the commandments, what he told you to do. All right? He's your father. So to have this, to remember what he told you to do. All right? I'm telling you, this little girl was deep into this stuff. I guess her uncle taught her. She uh -huh. was telling me. I was like, for real? Because I told you I used to wear the red thing. I took it off. Okay, we got to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, oh. No, no not, not red. It's not red. You know what I mean, you can have red fringes like that, but you see that border of blue right there? You have to have that. All right? That red thing on the wrist has nothing to do with you. All right? Okay. It's just the blue. All right? See how it's the opposite? See how Catholicism is opposite of what we do? Of your heritage? All right? That shows you the Most High never gave you that. It gave you confusion. Because the Most High never gave you that in here. Nowhere in Scripture you find that. Nowhere in Scripture do you find Lent either. You know Lent? Yeah, exactly. All right, that's Catholicism. Catholicism. All right? So let me go ahead and get um, love. All right? All these things is to show that you love God. You pay attention to your father. All right? Because if you want to love your father, you know, he's really agitated unless you do what he says. All right? Go here. Go there. Go, get, go do this. All right? Who are you talking to? You talking to you? All right. Unless, unless you're doing what your father says, no, nah, don't even don't don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Unless he do, unless you do what your father says, you are not loving him. All right, you're not showing him any kind of love. All right, let me get that. This is the book of First John, chapter five, verse three. Bring it out. For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God. This is how you know what love is according to the scripture. All right, this is how you know what God's love is. He's going to explain it. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. That we keep his what? His commandments. All right, his laws, statutes, and commandments. That's where you find in the first five books of the Bible. All right, that's called the Torah. All right, in the same place where you're going to get your friends, is the same place where you're going to learn that. And tw um, you have the, the flyer? Okay, 29, 2937 West Broad Boulevard. 
All right, the same places where you're gonna get your fringes is the same place where you're gonna learn why you have the fringes. All right? And just for your friends and family, look on the back. Look on the back. You see Benjamin on the side right here? It shows the descriptor. All right? Wait, this is where I get those? Yes, that's actually where you can come and get it. The actual physical place is our school, 2937 West Park Boulevard. We're also gonna get your number so we have a sister that actually makes it. Our sister Safaria, all right? I don't know, we'll talk about it later because that's that's her, she's gonna give it to you. All right? Good, all right? So let me get that, read that again. First John. First John, chapter five, verse three. Bring it out. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous so his commandments is not like annoying to us yeah you know i mean his fun, his commandments are fun to do all right because otherwise you'd have clothes like everybody else you gotta be different you know what i mean you have to be you know you have to have your flair your salt on you this is our soul and nobody else have this you know what i mean yeah you know i mean and we have different types of fringes too it don't have to be like that you have the z's some of our northern kingdom brothers actually have feather fringes. You know, we wear feathers. That cease. Exactly. You know what I mean? So we have different ways of wearing it. Yeah. No, but the blue is right here. He still has the blue right here. All right? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. That's the portal blue. All right? So as long as you're obeying that. wearing something exactly like that. Oh, you want something like that? We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. All right. <laughs> Yeah, that's all right. That's a, no, no, no. It matters. It matters what you're, what you're doing according to the scriptures. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna give you what's according to the scriptures. All right. That's all that we do. All I'm right. Gonna, if I can mix it, that's fine too. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Let me get Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 12. So let me get you. What do you think today is? You know a little Spanish? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm Cuban too, but um. You say you're Cuban too? On what side? Your mother's side? Your father's side? On your mom's side. Okay, okay. All right. Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 12. So we're going to show you what today is and why it's important. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 12. Bring it out! Moreover, also, I gave them my Sabbath. You ever heard that word before? Sabbath? Sabbath. Okay, what are you hearing? What do you remember about the Sabbath? To keep it holy. All praises, God. Yeah. You got some of the law on you. All praises. All right. So, all right. All right. So awesome. So you keep it holy. All right. It's a holy convocation. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to rest. You're supposed to rest, of course. All right. Can you can you work? No, no cooking. Nothing but work. Exactly. All praises, God. That's right, no cooking for you. So you can't say, I'm sleeping on the, on the hot stove. You can't say that. No, no cooking, no spending, I know. Exactly. Yeah. All right, all praises, all right? But do you know what the Most High did when he gave us that? Yeah. I'm going to show you some more. I'm going to show you some more. Again, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 12. Bring it out. Oh. Moreover, I gave them my Sabbath to be a sign between me and them. So the Most High gave us that day to be a sign between you and him that you are the children of the Most High God. So if you want to show yourself to, to be a child of the Most High God to your parents, to your pastor, you're to keep the Sabbath, and the Sabbath is today. Okay. All right? So you're supposed to keep it holy. Yeah, All right? So let me show you how to keep it holy, the biggest 23. It's going to show you what it is to keep it holy. Okay. You know what I mean? Did you give him a, give me your number so you can? Oh, okay, come, 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 come. Finish with me real first and then we'll get, get through over that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, verse three. Bring it out. Six days shall work be done. No, four days. Six days shall work be done. 24 seven. Six days shall work be done. Only six days out of the week and there's seven days. All right, so there's one rest day. And you know that. All right. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest 
The seventh day is the Sabbath of rest, just like you said today. And holy convocation. A holy what? And holy convocation. What do you think holy means? Okay, you, sure you, you, you tell me what you feel like it is. What is it? To do what it says, like, you know, just keep it, you know? Holy means, literally means, separate. Okay. All right? So that means it's a separate day. Nothing else can touch that day. Nothing for your job. All right? Nothing for your family. Yeah, no work, nothing You'll cut all that off. All oh, y'all keep from the Sabbath. All right, it's a Sabbath today. All right, it's for the Lord. What I know is from Michael Wayne. No, microwaving is cooking. Not to me, really, because you, you, you can't no. eat cold food. No, you saying you can't eat cold food. Can you eat salad? Uh, yeah, but I mean, what if you want something else? You're obviously cooking when you do, when you do that. I All mean, right? you're right, but... Yeah, mm -hmm. You're right. You know what? Maybe just to take it out the fridge and eat it. You can take it out the fridge and eat it. That's we have fruit. Listen, we have a bunch of stuff for the children of Israel. Fruit. We have fruit, we have vegetables, we have all kinds of things that we can use. We eat kodaki. You know what I mean? <laughs> Y'all already know. You know what I mean? It's best cold. I think it's best cold. I think it's best cold. Kodaki. Yeah. Soft and Yeah. Yeah. Nah, don't say nah. Don't say nah. That's a delicacy. That's how you're supposed to do it. Cold. I'm for you. You know what I mean? But that's what you're supposed to do. I, as a bench of mine, you know I have a woman, I have a cord, I'll be like it, but you know you have something cool that you can eat. Alright? Alright? Keep reading. <laughs> but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest and holy convocation. And holy convocation. What do you think convocation means? Convocation. Convocation. What do you think it means? Convo. Hold it together? Yes, know. yes, okay. a gathering. Okay. All right, convocation means gathering. Oh. So holy, which means separate, convocation means gathering. So holy convocation means. Holy convocation means. You sound good. You're straight. You're straight. Holy convocation means separate. It's all right. It's all right. I got you. Holy convocation means separate gathering. All right. Separate gathering. So you're supposed to gather with your family, gather with your people. All right, the one that the Most High puts you. All right, for you to learn. 2937 West Park Boulevard. That same thing that we gave you. That's where you can gather. All right, that's a holy convocation. All right, every single time. Wait, you guys gonna be there? You're gonna be there tomorrow at 12. Yeah. What time? At 12. Oh, you said 12. Yeah. We're gonna do the Sabbath service. All right, you can see it there. Yes, you can. You can come and get you can come and get in, in contact with the sister that gives it because she has this website. You know what I mean? And we have like a directory where we can like, you know, pull people and do different things for you. I thought y'all had it here on you. No, we ain't got no like extra fringes right now. You know what I mean? We used to. I used to sometimes. But we have it, we have it there at school. It's right there for you, sister. Alright? So that's for you. Alright? So we want to see you at the, at the school tomorrow at 12. That's the yeah, that's the YouTube. So you can see us online. You know what I mean? Show us to your friends and your family. Alright? Share the truth of Israel. Alright? The truth of so-called black people. That's our history according to the Bible. What do you see there? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse what? I'm getting my shit and I'm leaving. I don't hang around black people because they're ignorant. And you see that's how people destroy. Deuteronomy 28, verse what? Did you get the that's all right. That's all right. Dorm, what do you say? Dormy 28 verse what? 68. Let's get that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out! And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Egypt means slavery, means bondage. All right. And he says he brought us with what? With ships. How did the blast get to America? On what? Okay, no, I understand, I understand. How did black people get to America? The Jamaicans get to America. How? They were taken from somewhere and brought here in what? They would take... Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How did we get here? 
Jamaicans were, we said Jamaicans were taken from Africa, right? Right? All right. And then how did they get here? Did they fly? Yeah. They flew? Jamaicans flew and came to Jamaica. Oh, wait, no. How'd they get here? The ships, the same oh, ships. Yeah, I was like, wait, what? Yeah, God, I know, I know. You're trying to keep track of your friend. I know, I know. No, 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 no. Because you said, like, you know, here. I thought it was here that you was talking about. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. But even though the tribe of Judah, the African Americans, the tribe of Levi, the Haitians in Haiti, the Jamaicans, Benjamin, how did we get here? We say we came from Africa. How are they Buddhists there? You know this. <laughs> I mean, I don't know the whole history. Slave ships. The slave ships, ain't nobody hiding the slave ships from you, from us. You know what I mean? You know this. Keep reading. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. The Most High God said he's going to bring us here in slave ships. All right? And we're never going to see our homeland again. All right, until a lot of days. Keep going. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And there we're sold unto our enemies. Who are we sold to? I'm not going to put this mic to your mouth. Who are we sold to? Enemies. Our enemies. Go ahead and say that name. All right. Wait, let me check in this. Let me get this go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right. So we are sold to our enemies, the so called white man. Huh? All right. Did you get a number? Captain? Okay, okay. So we are sold to our enemies, the so-called white men. All right, we're sold to the Brits. All right, we're sold to the Spaniards. We're sold to the French. All right, that those are our enemies. Uh, they have right. no type of love. They do not know how to love, and they will never love us. Uh, All right, to love us is to show us the commandments. It's to make us keep the commandments. That's showing love. All right. All right. Seeing our sisters get reconnected to the Most High God, showing the Most High God love, that's beautiful, all right? That's a child coming back to their father, all right? The right way, the way that the father said, all right? But these days, I'm loving what I'm seeing, man. I'm seeing, I am hearing more and more Israelites stop eating pork, all right? And now I'm, all right, all right, all right? We shall see you tomorrow at 12. Come. I'm hearing more about our brothers not eating pork, not eating shrimp, not eating whatever abomination turtle, because I know Jamaicans eat turtle too. All right, that turtle soup. Yes, turtle stew. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know. All right. I know that our brothers are now, they, they're learning the true name of Christ. I'm not shaka All right. I know they're learning that they're Israel. We have been out here enough times. Enough time that we've been out here. And our brothers have learned that. And our sisters have learned the commandments. So we're doing our job and the most high is bringing that increase. All right? It's a beautiful thing. Hey. Yeah. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them carry out. Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us. I pray that we make it through the fire. This word gonna take us